Hey guys, this is Rob, and I'm excited to announce that I finally am releasing for sale a full pack of my electrical custom families for Revit. If you've been following along in any of my videos, you're probably aware that I really champion the use of custom family content. I show you how to create these from scratch and how to add labels and add on and off graphics, how to set up the electrical distribution systems with any voltage and phase that you need. So I think you will find this set of families very useful to increase your productivity and to make your designs look professional. These are families that I use professionally in my electrical engineering business. So let me take you through a tour of these and you can see what all is included. Here is a layout of all the devices that come with this pack. We start up here with the electrical equipment and fixtures. And these are hosted families. Now these are similar to what you would find out of the box Revit. They've also been customized so that you can tweak them for what you need. For example, even just this duplex receptacle, if you go to the type parameters, you can get to the voltage poles, load classification, the load. We have the material assigned here so you can change its look. Same thing with the quad. And then we also have a special receptacle here. As you can see, we have 3D content here as well. Let me zoom into these and go to thin lines. But you can see we have some nice detail on the front of these even the double duplex, and then down here, this is just a special receptacle, like a 30 amp or 50 amp. We have those, and those are wall hosted, similar to what comes out of the box. We also have my non-hosted versions, and they look the same in 3D. But these can be placed anywhere. They're not stuck to a wall. As you can see, I can move them around at will. You can give them a mounting height, and you're not stuck with trying to find a wall. So these three guys are that way. Then we have my motor connection, which is just a 2D element, and it has all of the electrical characteristics that you can get to. And we also have just an equipment connection that's not a motor. The fuse can be turned off easily with a click of a button like that, or you can even turn off the disconnect with a click of a button. We have a floor box receptacle, and you can see up here that it has a 3D look to it. See here that it actually looks like a floor box with a cover. And here we have an electrical vehicle charging station that looks like an equipment connection in the symbol in the plan view, but it actually has two electrical connectors in it. As you can see, it's load classification and poles voltage load for connection one and then also connection two. So you can connect this with two separate circuits. We have an automatic transfer switch that actually has two sources. So you can connect it to both a generator and the utility, for example. And then this is just any kind of electrical fixture you would like. Maybe it's a fire alarm panel or something that you can tweak the way you want and it can be connected electrically as well. And then, yeah, that's a switch, but this is a switch that is on the electrical fixtures category. So it doesn't disappear when you turn off your lighting devices. And as you can see, I also have included the custom tags. This tag here is displaying the actual circuit that this is connected to alongside of it. And we have the equipment connection name, and the type mark shows up here. And then on the home runs, we have a home run tag that displays the panel and circuit. And then this is an equipment label for a panel with the underline on it. Then we get down to the lighting devices. And again, we have some hosted fixtures here, similar to what you might find out of the box. This light switch hosts to the wall. And then we have a circular surface mount. We have a recessed light fixture, and then we have a surface linear and a recessed linear, like a two by four. And in all of these, the emergency symbol can be turned on and off with a click of a button. For example, even here, we can say emergency, and that will fill in. So that's handy for when you have fixtures on an emergency circuit. And these are the ceiling or the face hosted. Now the rest of these are all non-hosted. They can be placed anywhere in your plan. You're not restricted to walls and ceilings. Furthermore, this one you will see is a sloped. I've done a video on this where you have a variable slope. So if you look in three dimensions at this one, right there, we can change right here the angle from horizontal. We can make this at a 45 degree angle. As you can see, it'll be a 45 degree angle. However, in two dimensions, the symbol still looks the same. 
and you can't get that out of the box. So similarly, we can just click this to go 30 degrees from horizontal, apply that, and let's see what it looks like in 3D. There it is. So this can be turned to match whatever your ceiling is. And yet in symbolic view from above, it always looks the same. We have a surface mount linear. We have the associated tags. This is a circuiting tag. It's going to the ATS circuit two. We also have a fixture type mark tag. And then we have our recessed, again, non-hosted. It can be placed anywhere, not just on a ceiling or surface. We have our non-hosted exit sign that can have one face or two. So a type parameter is second face. However, you can control these arrows. Arrow left, arrow right. You can make the arrow both ways if you want. And then also if you have a second face, throw a second face on here, you can do the same thing with arrows down here, left or right. And we even have different canopies. This is the top canopy. We can go with the left canopy or with the right canopy. Then we have a wall mount fixture, like above a mirror, and then we have decorative wall mount. We have kind of a, a parking lot looking fixture wall mount, and then we have the symbolic parking lot fixture that can have any number of fixtures. We can get it down to just two fixtures if we just want fixture one and three to look like that. That's all adjustable. And then we have some pendant fixtures, as you can see here. We have some pendant fixtures that do have an adjustable pendant height. So the stem length we can change to three feet to match our architecture and the mounting height is actually to the bottom of the fixture. And then we have the suspended pendant linear, which each of these stems can be a different length. So we have stem length one can be one foot to match a slope ceiling and this one can be higher. So independent lengths on these stems. So overall, you can see that you get probably 95% of the fixture types that you would need to do most of your electrical work. So to get these into your project, simply surround these, do a control C copy, and then go into your project into one of your views and go up to modify, paste, and then add aligned to your current view. That will paste all of the families into this view. And then if you go look over at your families category under your project browser, you will see that you have all of the ER custom families now in your project. And you can even bring these into your project template and save them. And here they all are. Easy to get to, you can drag them in from here or you can use the system tool up here. You can even go into here and click on right click it and say create similar and put it somewhere else in your project. So very easy to bring into your projects. I hope you enjoy these and let me know if you have any issues or questions. I'd be glad to help you out and I appreciate your support.